Hey there everybody, hope everybody's doing well. So in today's video I'm doing a good old pizza for you. I'm a fan of pizza, any pizza, about it. <laughs> um, one of my favorites, I've said it before, and it's really cause I grew up with it, is uh, Danelli's Pizza in uh, Hamilton, Alabama. It's not like the best pizza you'd say, but it's really good and I enjoy it. And I, was raised on it, but they're uh, garlic uh, uh, breadsticks. Man, garlic parmesan breadsticks. They're they're something else. They're really really good. Then they have some like Italian pockets and stuff that are really good. I enjoy, but um, really good. <laughs> made made me crave the Nellies right now. But yeah. Did a pizza for you. This is one that was a new one on me. I'd never had it before or tried it, and this was the first time I was making it. But first time I had it was at my sister's house, and my sister and brother in law had made it for us, and it was really good. But it's a chicken crust pizza. You get uh, canned chicken, and then Parmesan cheese, egg, and then whatever flavoring you want to go into it. And I just went with Italian seasoning and uh, garlic powder to give it just a little more, more kick and flavor and then you get that kind of italian -y kind of flavor in it as well but a kind of herb flavor and it it turned out really really good I, I enjoyed it when they made it so I knew I wanted to make it more for myself so that's what this one is it's a I guess you could say a keto friendly diabetic friendly low carb friendly so if you're on that kind of diet, you could definitely do this one. Then if you uh, took out the tomato sauce altogether, it'd probably be zero carbs then. I know I, I barely put any sauce on there because I don't like a lot, a lot of sauce, just a, enough to get that hint of flavoring in there. So I just put a little dab of sauce on there and then a lot of cheese. So you had the Parmesan cheese and I put a whole eight ounce pack of uh, mozzarella cheese on top because I like my cheese so it was cheesy and uh, really good so we'll jump on into the cook of the video so hope y'all enjoy this one and stick around through it and make it for yourself so we'll jump on in well alrighty folks here's what we're looking at ingredients wise so we got two cans of chicken they're like 12 ounce cans we got parmesan cheese two eggs some uh, sauce. I had pasta sauce, but it's going to work just as good as a marinara pizza sauce. And then I got some uh, mozzarella cheese and Italian seasoning. And then, like always, I forget to set something out, but I had to set out the garlic powder <laughs> too later. But garlic powder is going in there. So, started out opening my cans of chicken. I'm going to drain them off really, really good. And with the chicken, you make sure you want to get it really, really dry. So I just poured it through my strainer and let it sit for a few minutes so it quits dripping. And then I pressed on it a little bit more to make sure to get all the moisture out of there that I could. And then once I had let it drain all the way, got my oven uh, preheating to 200 degrees there. And then I'm just going to lay it on a baking tray kind of spread it out and then I got it spread out a little bit more and try to get it where it's going to get really good and dry so your dough will set up so I'm going to go ahead and let that preheat on up and then I'm going to spread it out a little bit more then I'll put it in the oven and initially did it for 15 minutes at start just to kind of check it, see how it was doing. And it was drying out pretty good, so after that 15 minutes, I kind of spread it out a little bit more. And then I'd let it run for another 15 minutes, and then there's what it's going to look like after 30 minutes at 200, and then spreading it around. You can get it pretty dry, so now I'm going to go ahead and start getting everything mixed together for the dough so I got two eggs a cup of uh, Parmesan cheese and then it's just a dash of uh, 
Italian seasoning and uh, garlic powder. I'd say about a teaspoon or so of each is what's going to go in it. And there's what your dough is going to look like once you've got it all mixed together. So I'm going to go ahead and get my oven preheating now to 400 degrees so I can cook the crust off and get it good and crispy and set before you can put your toppings on there. So there we go. I got it pressed out good and round and flat, as round as I could get it. <laughs> it's a little ob round, <laughs> but it's fairly close. So now I got it preheat to 400. I can put it on in, let it cook, and let it cook for about 20 minutes. And that's what it's going to look like. It firms on up really good and starts kind of drying out and getting good and formed together. So now I can start putting on my sauce and then my cheese. So like I said, I use maybe quarter cup to a third a cup of the uh, sauce. Then it's a whole eight ounce bag of uh, shredded mozzarella cheese. And right there is looking pretty good. And I rotated it every so often but there we go it's looking pretty good so we'll jump on into the taste test and i'll let y'all see how i and what i thought about it all righty folks got it done here maybe y'all can see it i'll throw some pictures of it too and maybe y'all can see the crust oh that's still hot <laughs> but it turned out really good uh, we'd made it or i had made it went over to my Sisters and we was doing some junk, just messing around, spending time with each other. And uh, my other sister and brother and all, they made it. And it was really good, so I want to try it out. It's a low carb or keto friendly pizza, I guess you could say. I just did cheese, a little uh, tomato sauce, and then the crust, like y'all saw, was the canned chicken. Parmesan cheese, egg, and then I threw in some Italian seasoning and garlic powder, so bump up the flavor a little bit more, give it a little more to it, but you can see it holds up really good, like a crust and all, so give it a fry, it's still hot, <laughs> but it's really good, the crust holds up. So it gets that feel like you're eating bread. But it's really kind of just like a cheesy kind of crust since all that Parmesan cheese in there. So it's really cheesy. So it's really good. I know I like it. <laughs> One of the recipes I saw for it had to add a little salt, but you won't need salt added in because the canned chicken and the uh, Parmesan cheese has got enough salt in it. But I like it. A little cheese pool there. I'm going to use the whole eight ounce uh, bag of cheese. Sorry, I'm hungry. I'm going to eat a little bit. <laughs> but it's really good. If you're low carb in it or diabetic or something like that and don't want to deal with all the dough for it. Getting them with your carbs. I say go with this for sure. It wasn't that hard. Just when you're making it, make sure you uh, dry out your chicken really good. I drained it out in the sink for a while in a little strainer let it sit there till it quit dripping then I pressed it a little bit more to get it all out and then I put it on a baking sheet spread it out as much as I could put it in the oven there you also at 200 degrees and did it initially for 15 minutes and then moved it around a little bit more and then did it for another 15 minutes to dry it out really good so that way your crust will form and you see it it holds up really well 
We just make sure you get that chicken dried out. But yeah, this is good. Dab your little hot sauce on it, or if you have some ranch dressing or something, go with it, garlic butter. Like you have it. Papa John's be really good with that too. But definitely happy with it, y'all see. <laughs> Munching on down, I still got another one to go, and then more out in the kitchen. But I want to do a little tape test for you. But yeah, for low carbon pizza, it's pretty good. Good to get a good one. I say try it out. Pretty easy to make. Like I say, mine always are. But yeah, give this one a try. So. Thank y'all so much for watching, y'all. Please like, share, and subscribe if you want to, if you haven't already. And when you do, hey, you're part of the good old Head to Tail family. We welcome you on in. We we'll love you. So, anyways, thank y'all again, and I'll catch y'all on the next one.